good morning or whenever you're watching this i just pulled into the gym parking lot no worries um i'm gonna go get a quick work in and then i'm gonna head to the grocery store i'm gonna have a grocery haul for you guys hopefully this is gonna be like an old school grocery type video haven't done one of those in a while so um yeah i'm gonna go get a good workout in head to walmart get my groceries kind of show you guys what's new so i will see y'all soon all right so just left the gym actually just got to walmart but i accidentally put the wrong walmart in my gps so i ended up on the other side of town which is not a terribly bad thing because that means we get to go into walmart and see if there's anything new in a newer walmart or a different walmart than normal so hopefully there is let me know if you use your gps in the town that you grew up in or in the county you grew up in or anywhere around where you grew up i still use my gps let's go see what's new All right, walking into this Walmart, they have all of uh, the summer toys out, like the jumbo bowling set. Also, I had a lot of questions about my nails last time. I got them at Walmart, so I'll see if this Walmart has any and try to link them for you. I know they've came out with some new ones. What is this? Little Tykes flag football set. Interesting. They have all of these pillows for Mother's Day. They are $12.98. They're all organized. Grandma love these. It looks like they also have tons of new candles. They have cranberry, mandarin, warm apple pie, vanilla, frosty sorbet pops, hazelnut cream, cozy comfort, Hawaiian coconut. I mean, I don't know if these are all new. Or some of these kind of sound like they were fall scents, but we will smell a few. So, obviously, I look like a hot mess because I just left the gym, but who cares, right? This is the Hawaiian coconut. It smells really nice. And these are all $6.97. And then I'm interested in this one. This is the Frosty Sorbet Pops. Mmm, that one is my favorite so far. We have hazelnut cream. Okay, that might have taken first place. We have Lilac Breeze. That one smells like fresh linen. I'm not gonna smell the rest because they seem like they're probably like fall scents, but who knows. Y'all are probably tired of me talking about these cups because every time I come in here, I uh, look at these cups. If y'all follow, oh, this doesn't have a handle. <gasps> I'm gonna have to tell Courtney about this. Maybe somebody took it off. My friend Courtney Danielle, she has a YouTube channel. Y'all might watch her. She got this cup the other day. I think it's so pretty. I love the color. It's the same brand as this one that I have in the neon yellow, and they're just great. I love the reduced brand. And they also have these cups for 50 cent. It looks like they are maybe, there's probably some new colors for spring and summertime. We have some tablecloths for $3.98. see what else we got. This color. Ooh, that one's really pretty. Some are round, I believe, and some are rectangular, but they have a lot of different patterns. Look at this really pretty lavender color. Also, love these cups. They are gorgeous. Ooh, they have the shorter one as well. They have all the baskets, which I feel like they had these last year. I've been seeing a lot of people show these, but I have a basket similar to this from last year. Here is the Pioneer Woman's version of the 40 ounce tumbler if you're interested and they have all of these i swear i show you all these cups every time i know you're tired of it i still want this one but i am refraining i'm refraining because i don't need it also i just found these these are really cool these are beach lounge chair covers they're 14.96 they have a couple of different patterns for 544 they have all of the color changing tumbler and straw sets they had these last year but they sold out like super fast they also are bringing the circle bottle back i haven't seen these in a while and both of my girls have these they just need flavors i wonder if they would like any of these flavors i'll probably ask them before i buy anything like that but they love their circle bottle so i mentioned the native sunscreen in my last video and i love native products I use their body wash like every day. One of you told me that their sunscreen is really, really good. So thank you for letting me know. I will keep that in mind when I'm ready to purchase my next one. But also they have tons of other new, like look at this, mineral UV tint face liquid. 
This is interesting. Has anyone tried this yet? Okay, I'm seeing more new brands. I've never seen this Australian Sands brand unless like it's been rebranded. I have all of these or I had all of those from last year. I still have some left. I've never seen the Hello Sunshine one. They also have the B tan like self tanner and all of that. I don't really have a big opinion on this. These are the browsing glow drops. And then this is interesting. I've never seen this before. This is give me the glow down rose water facial tan mist interesting it says it's dark i wonder how well this works i'm gonna scan it and look at the reviews they also have all of these like tanning applicators which i love the black ones because you can't see like all the dirtiness on it i've also never seen this plump up the bronze product right here it's whipped gradual tan, which is very interesting to me. I'm gonna scan this and look at the reviews too. Okay, this Walmart has all of the protein bars we could ever want to choose from, seriously. And also just found this one I've never tried before. I have tried this one, it's not my favorite. I got it at the Sweets and Snacks Expo last year. It's just a little bit chewy. Have any of y'all heard of this brand, Frank Body? They have all of these coffee scrubs. Glowing Vacation Skin is inside this bag. Imagine a world where you shower yourself in chocolate. Oh my gosh. A scrub from Down Under, for Down Under? Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Rose Hip Body Scrub and Cleanser, and then Glycolic Body Scrub. We also have a five pack with a little holder of beauty sponges for $9.98 by Betsy Johnson. So that's not a bad deal. Okay, and she came out with like these lip glosses, eyeshadow palette. Okay, okay, Betsy. I didn't know about these. Oh my gosh, I always tone my hair with this and Radiant Opal, I believe is the color I've been looking for. I'm not 100% sure. I need to look up on my Walmart orders. So here are my nails. I've had them on for like a week now. Nothing has popped off. And the brand is, are these. These are a newer color for this year. They're hanging in the wrong spot. I don't see any more LA Colors ones. They're really hard to find. Sometimes you can find them at five below. They do have a bunch of cute nails, but this is literally the only LA Colors one I can find. Here are some more down here. This is a little bit different. Um, their nodes aren't my favorite. And then these only come with 24 in them. Haven't seen those before. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably remember when, when I bought this. I have the pink and like green leafed one. It looks like they updated this year to the blue background. And they have all of the accessories to go with it. And then they also have this right here, this little bag with, it's like a four piece bag, no seven piece tote set, $21.97. I really like that. And then they have this, just like the one I showed you in a different pattern. And then I like the shape of this with the little handle. That's actually pretty cool. I also like these up here. I haven't seen this one before. Now I've seen this one a million times, but this one may be new as well. Okay, Walmart is carrying the new Halo Glow Liquid Filter by e.l.f. I don't see the contour, the blush, or the bronzer in here, of course, but I do have that at home. I still have not unboxed it. I need to do that. This is supposed to be a grocery haul, but you know, catch me outside. How about that? Not really. Catch me on all the aisles. How about that? Okay, and they have all of the cute sunglasses. They also even have these cute little eyewear cases. Let's take a look at accessories though. See if we can find anything new over here. So we have all of the bandanas, like any color you can think of. Love that. And then all of the hats you can think of. I love these. I love this one that says Wonderlust. That one's so cute. But they have a ton of different ones. Can't more worry less. My friend Jessica needs that. These are definitely new bags I have not seen in Walmart yet. Check these out right here. Look at these. They're $14.97. They are pretty small, but they are so adorable. How cute is this? I mean, what would I wear this with? I don't know, but it's still cute. This one, I love this with a little chain for the strap. So, so pretty. And I see this iridescent white one back here. So pretty. They also have these over here. No boundaries. How much are these? $16.98. Little bitty bags. They're so cute. And then they have these little bags. They remind me of just like little beach bags. 
these are really awesome carry-on bags if you are traveling. I'm not gonna lie, these would be perfect. Let's see how much they are. $39.98, pretty expensive. Walmart, but they are nice. I love stuff like this. Like, my husband calls me a hippie when I say I love stuff like this, but it's just so cute. Love that, and then look at all these down here. Like little boho bags. Look at this one, it's $19.98. But have you ever seen something so cute? Remember the other day when I was in TJ Maxx and I was like, I need a new gym bag. I think I'll go back to TJ Maxx because they're like $12 there, but these are really, really cute here. And then we'll see if we have anything else down this aisle that we haven't seen before. I think we've seen these before. Maybe, maybe not, probably not actually bunch of different colors oh yeah look at look at these down here these are so cute but they've been out a while because my daughter has had this one for like i mean since february y'all probably remember that haul all right let's look at shoes i have these shoes right here and if you don't have them i highly recommend getting them because they're so cute especially if you go to the beach also these are such a walmart or a croc dupe that croc has like a pattern that looks almost just like this croc inspired some more of these burke inspired sandals they have white pink and like a whitish pink camo these are all 19.98 Ooh, i have not seen these slides in white yet i sure have not I've seen them in all the colors except for white see we got water shoes okay i just found these and i cannot help but laugh really walmart i cannot i really cannot deal no because i came to this wrong walmart on accident i'm finding all of the cute stuff i'm afraid i'm not gonna make it over <laughs> to the groceries to film because my phone's dying i found some new workout shirts over here i really like this one that says trust in the process we have a yellow one that says create your own sunshine and then that one i really like this one how cute is that and so true all kinds of cute dresses in this walmart that my walmart doesn't have not that i need any more dresses let's be honest here but we will make our way around i really like the blue jean one how cute is that i also like this one though and i also like the black blue jean one like that is super cute they have the cutest little shirts over here. These are the Junior's No Boundary shirts, but check it out. I think I could fit in this one. I think that is so adorable too. How much is this? This is on clearance for $7. I'm on a roll with the pink. It's a maybe. I'll keep it in my cart for now. I gotta hurry up and get to the groceries so I can show y'all what's new over there. We got some shorts. We've got all of these cute bras over here oh i love that one so cute all of these bralettes are $8.98 lots of different patterns oh my gosh you guys i want to buy these just for the heck of it how adorable i mean if this doesn't bring you back i don't know what would and i, I feel like this is the size i would need with my big butt because these are juniors what if i wore them with that pink shirt i mean it doesn't really match that good but Listen, it's a vibe. I'm doing things that I shouldn't do, but what's new? Also, I really like this shirt. It is a little bit short. Maybe it's because it's a, well, no, it's a large, um, but I like it with the red stars on it. We've got this one, which I kind of like as well. What else do we got over here? Anything interesting? Oh, these are interesting. These are like, Aubrey would like these. She's a Gamecock fan. These are like little biker shorts. I think I showed these sets a while back. They're actually on clearance now for $13. So I guess they weren't a hit. And then I have this outfit and it is on sale for $13 as well, but it's so pretty. I love it. Okay, these are cute. Are these new? We've got the shorts that match. We've got these shorts that match. Got the bathing suit, and then if you want like a long sleeve bathing suit, $30. Ooh, what's $30? What is this? I don't know about all these, but these are so cute nevertheless. This looks like a really nice pink bathing suit. I don't know though, like I have problems fitting in different bathing suits, especially one piece. I just don't know what size to ever get. Ooh, what are these? Limoncello cake? Never seen these at Walmart before. 
the first thing I find when I go over here to the food section is these flaming Hot Corn Chips. I knew these were coming out, but I have not seen these in store yet. We have the Taki Crisps over here. I think I have posted these before on Snack Scavenger or maybe showed these, but I hardly ever see them. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever seen the entire lineup of all of these in store at the same time. Also, this Walmart has the Funfetti popcorn with Funfetti glaze. This is new. So I'm kind of glad we came to this Walmart because I'm finding a lot of different stuff. All right, so remember these came out at Sam's Club in the huge bags. Now they're at Walmart in a smaller bag for $3.48. Ooh, I haven't seen these in a long time, but remember when I found these? No, thank you. Here is my review on these because I remember I got these at my last grocery haul just for the girls. I took one by. It, oh, the girls like them, but they're so sweet, y'all. So sweet. Can someone tell me when Walmart got cotton candy, strawberry lemonade, and cinnamon mini donut cereal? Oh my gosh. Okay, it says this Olive Garden Classic Caesar dressing is new, but have you guys ever seen the California Pizza Kitchen dressings? I've never seen these before. I don't know if they're new, but the barbecue ranch sounds really good. And they finally have like all of the Kinder different sauces and let's see dip where are the all the dipping sauces these are like the barbecue sauces and all that good stuff wing sauce oh here they are i tried the prime steak i wasn't a fan i really want to try the chicken sauce but i'm not going to get it today they also have the sweet and spicy sriracha sauce from chick-fil-a here now Ooh, gross Arby sauce, horsey sauce, all of the things. Look what I just found at Walmart. The new hot mustard Doritos and the tangy ketchup Doritos. I have to get them both. Oh my gosh, I haven't been able to find them. Okay, I really need something. So I'm stopping at Tropical Smoothie, Tropical Cafe. I don't know, I've never been here before. I am glad they have a drive-through because I did not feel like getting out. I usually go to Smoothie King, but they don't have one on this side of town. So hopefully they have something good. Normally I would go for coffee, you guys know, but I'm trying to cut back on coffee and just have it one to two times a week because it's not very anti-inflammatory for me, if that makes any sense. Thank you for choosing the Let me go for a look in the kitchen. Um, just one second, please. Okay. I've never been here before, so I have no idea what to get. All right, so I got something called the Bahama Mama. I asked her what their most popular ones were, and she said the something Sunset Sunrise and the Bahama Mama, which had the Bahama Mama has strawberry, pineapple, coconut, and white chocolate. And I thought that was like really interesting. I hope I like it. Thank you. Thank you. You do the same. And a cute blue straw. Did I sign up for this? Okay, let's go home. I'm going to show you my haul. Actually, let me pull over real quick into a safe spot so I can share with you what this tastes like. I'm going to head this way because I need to go the red light way because uh, this part of town is redonkulous. I mean, I'm right in front of Chick-fil-A if that tells you anything. That's what it looks like. It's got white chocolate in it. Mmm. It is good. It is all good in the hood, baby. Dang, stay on your own lane. The, okay, I'm, I'm gonna pull all the way up so nobody can take no more sharp turns. And I gotta get off my phone because I'm driving. Oh, I just got home. So you guys might have a little unboxing haul too. And if y'all are interested in seeing what I got in my PR packages, stay tuned to the end after my grocery haul. All right, so here is our grocery haul this week. We have a gallon of regular whole milk, a gallon of chocolate milk. We also got some of these go-go squeezes. I just, this is kind of like an impulse buy for me because the girls will eat these from time to time. So hopefully they'll enjoy these as a snack. They were out of the Chobani yogurt, which I should have known that just because the time of the week it is. And then I got some bananas, some eggs, strawberries, and then, and I got two of these things of blueberries. I actually ordered a, like a bigger container and I also ordered raspberries, but they were out. And then I got some more tortillas. I also got sharp cheddar cheese. I don't remember ordering one this big in size, but we'll take it. Also got this hot jalapeno and habanero jack cheese for Alex. Got some hazelnut spread, Sunny D for the girls. We have been on a chicken noodle soup kick around here. So I got two packages or four packs of those. I got some of this pasta sides alfredo. I got this Bob Evans 
family size mac and cheese. These are so good if you're on the go. Like we had a lot of soccer and stuff like that this week. So this will be good paired with like these Salisbury steaks. It takes our family two of these now. So our kids love these and I love these as well. So does Alex. These are like the ones you used to eat in the lunchroom in elementary school and they're just they're always going to be so good. Got some of these Bob Evans mashed potatoes. I don't eat mashed potatoes, but Ansley and Alex love these. Got some more sliced cheese. These are supposed to be thin sliced, boneless, skinless, chicken breast tenderloins. Um, this does not look like that, and these kind of look gross. I'm not going to lie. I am not going to lie. I'm going to let Alex look at these. Um, also got some of these tater tots. This was a substitution. I actually ordered the Walmart brand. Got some Texas toast, but they were out of the cheese ravioli that I ordered, so... We'll probably have to make that another time. I'm just glad I can freeze that. I got Reese's Puffs for Ansley and Aubrey. They both like that. And then Apple Jacks for Aubrey. Cheez-Its for a snack for me. Aubrey requested these fruit roll-ups and Ansley requested Takis. We got some jumbo biscuits. I got some heavy whipping cream to make my own Alfredo sauce, but of course I don't have my ravioli, so we won't be doing that this week. And then I got some of these Dunkin' iced coffees. I got one for each of me and the girls to try just because I haven't tried the cake batter one yet. I've tried the coffee cake one and the brownie batter latte one, but not these. So we'll give those a try. I got these crackers, the jalapeno cheddar for Alex. He likes to kind of take these to work sometimes. And then last but not least, grab some protein bars. I love these. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love these perfect bars. I used to buy the bigger ones. They were like $1.98 a piece. But now they have the little snack size ones and they're only 130 calories and 6 grams of protein. They're the perfect size because honestly, the regular size bars are a little bit much. And then also, my brother recommended these, and I think I've tried these before, the Quest Crispy Cookies and Cream um, Protein Bars, and really liked them. So I grabbed those again, and then I found this new flavor, and it is the Chocolate Caramel Pecans. I'm hoping this one will be good as well. This one has 15 grams of protein, 18 grams of protein, and then these little mini bars have 6 grams of protein. So that'll be good for us, and then that is basically all we got today oh except for i did get this big value pack 40 half liter bottles of water because we've been going through some water lately and i think that's all i got okay so for some fun stuff from this haul I actually got a bunch of these shirts because they were $7 on the shelf and then they rang up for $3. So I ran back to get Aubrey a black one and a pink one. And then I got myself a white one. I got myself a pink one and I got myself a black one. So I'm excited. And then, oh, hello there. And then I did get these. I don't know if they're gonna fit. I'm gonna try them on. If not, I can just return them. But that's some of the like fun stuff I got. I got these, forgot to show you this, in the grocery portion, and the hot mustard and the tangy ketchup Doritos. I want to try those. I don't know if I'll try them on camera or I'll wait for another video. And then I did get the Gimme the Glow Down Rose Water like tanning spray for your face. Hopefully it works. And then I got this Plump Up the Bronze Spray because it had really, really good reviews. Like five stars, full five star reviews. It's like a whipped gradual tan. So I'll link it down below if you want to try it out. I'm going to try it out myself. I'm going to back up a little bit because I don't think you can see me. I think this is all PR. So I don't know what's in any of it, but we're going to find out. These are the fun pictures. Ooh, I'm excited about this. I don't know if I'm saying this right. This is the brand Tacobo. I don't know. I really don't know if that's right, but this is their Cotton Soft Sun Stick SPF 50 Plus. And then they sent over the Vita Tone Up Sun Cream 50 Plus SPF. They also sent this AHA BHA Lemon Toner with 38% lemon extract. Hopefully you can see this. It's a little dark in here with this lighting. And then they sent Lavender Flower Water Collagen Brightening Eye Gel Cream. Who doesn't need some eye gel cream? Y'all, this hair is ridiculous. Gym hair, don't care. Okay, and then Bio Hyaluronic Hyaluronic acid. Ooh. Yes. Bio watery sunscreen. No, sun cream. Excuse me. All right. So I have a couple of other packages. I'm going to sit y'all right there. I don't think that's crooked. Hopefully not. We've got this FedEx box. Have no idea what is in it. It says it's fragile though. And it says McKenzie Snack Scavenger is the name on the box. So it's got a 
exciting food. What is this? The Coronation of King Charles III All Butter Shortbread Walkers. What? I got some King Charles shortbread. Limited edition. Wow, that is interesting. I was not expecting that. Hopefully they are delish. And then last but not least, I knew this was coming. Oh, I knew this was coming because they reached out asking if they could send over one of their munch packs, but I don't know what's in it. So let's find out what's in this bad boy. Yes, I opened my packages with scissors because I don't know what happened to my little knife thing. All right, this is what the box looks like. It's got a little smiley face on it. I don't know if I have a promo code. I'll have to ask and I'll leave it down below if I do. So it says it's featuring delicious snacks from Indonesia, Japan, Italy, and more. And then, oh wow. So it looks like this on the inside. Let me move the camera. So it has wild onion and yogurt chips. Oh, that's interesting. Choco biscuit. Look at this. This is a Pepsi Cola from another country. I'm not sure which one. It will tell me in the little book that they send. We'll see. Okay, so it is from Japan. These, interesting. I'm not even gonna try to say the names of all these because I'll butcher them. I don't know about that. Pistachio. Um, Stroop waffles. I like Stroop waffles. Those are so good. And then hazelnut cream something. Those look pretty good. This looks like, like Laffy Taffy or candy or something like that. I've seen these before. Interesting. I love getting other. Ooh, this is like a fruit roll up. It's a filled roller tutti frutti. That's what they call it. Um, very interesting. But with all that being said, me and Popper say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hey guys.